we will now discuss reviewing the loan application, also known as Form 1003. The loan application is the basis for the entire loan package. Information provided in the loan application will be the comp comparable factor when reviewing loan documentation and verifications. It also serves as a legal document that the borrower must sign attesting to its truthfulness based on his or her final condition. In other words, the processor double checks every bit of information and verifies it by comparing it to other documentation such as pay stubs, W-2s, appraisals, etc. supplied by the client. The 1003 collects data from borrowers about the loan type they are applying for, the purpose of the loan, residence history, marital status, dependents, job history, income, debts, assets, liabilities, and then finally, government monitoring information in relation to a borrower's ethnicity, race, and sex. There are four ways to take a mortgage application, face-to-face, -face, by internet, email, by mail or fax, and finally, by telephone. Recent-ish updates to, the, to Fannie Mae 1003 now require the loan originator to provide the unique loan originator identifier provided by the NMLS, the loan originator's phone number, the loan origination company's company identifier, and the loan origination company's address. While on the topic of the new uniform residential loan application, let's go over its intent. The new uniform residential loan application was developed by the GSEs, which you know, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, in partnership with the mortgage industry to provide greater efficiency, transparency, and certainty for consumers applying for mortgage loans. The use of the new uniform residential loan application is required by the GSEs for all lenders to originate loans eligible for sale on the secondary market and to satisfy the safe harbor requirements of the Equal Credit Opportunity Act. The new uniform residential loan application will provide greater efficiency, transparency, and certainty, a cleaner overall loan application look and feel, a more consistent and simplified organization of fields and labels, a clearer upfront instruction to enable borrower self-service, a defined separation of borrower and lender information, a defined separation of individual borrower applications within a loan package, new and updated fields to reflect today's mortgage lending business with obsolete fields removed, as well as 2018 Humda demographic data retiring the demographic information addendum.